4th of July. I am so excited for this video. Today I had the day off from work. Leo is going to be taking me to go look at fireworks in Austin. I do have to work tomorrow, so I have to get my clothes ready, get my lunch ready, I'll make sure everything's laid out in the morning so I'm not rushing. What else? Oh yeah, so I'll bring I'll bring you guys along with that. Uh, I am so happy you guys are here. So I hope you enjoy this video. So I kind of already figured out what I'm gonna wear to the uh, 4th of July celebration in Austin. Let me go ahead and show you. So I plan on wearing this. It's not flashy or anything crazy cute. I was gonna wear a dress, but I decided not to wear it because we are going to the park and I don't want bugs biting my butt. So I'm gonna wear my Berkies. They're the fake Berkies, but yeah, that's what I'm wearing. So I already picked out what I'm gonna wear to work tomorrow. I just need to go and iron it. So I'm gonna wear this satin blouse that my mom got me and just tuck it in with my blue pants. And there are the blue pants. These are so cute. I got these at Nordstrom, super cheap. I think they were $30. They're the high-waisted ones and they look really nice with, um, any type of work box. Hey everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and just start ironing my clothes for tomorrow. I am so sorry if my angles are not gonna be that great. Leo's using my tripod for his online school. He's testing right now, so hopefully he passes. Um, but yeah, so check this out. I don't have an actual ironing board. I use an old towel. Uh, but I'm just really thankful that I have actually a surface to iron my clothes for work, which is really cool. So Leo just told me that he passed his exam. I'm so happy for him. But now I'm just going to iron my clothes for work. Ice cream truck. A Mercedes ice cream truck. A Mercedes ice cream truck. Okay. This is a good spot right here.
days have passed since you last seen me. Today is Saturday of the same week and I thought it would be a good idea for me to do like a sit, let me move the camera, to sit, do a sit down with me and kind of like get to know me. I'm not a talker, so I am more of a listener. I'd rather listen to people than me actually talk. I've always been like that, so this is gonna be a little difficult for me. Plus, I'm not like crazy good at, you know, like I know I'm talking to you all, but right now, like I'm talking to my camera and it's really awkward for me, so just bear with me, I'll get better. Right now, before I get started, this is what I'm putting on my face. Um, it's supposed to even out your skin tone, apparently, from what I read from reviews. So we're gonna put a little bit of that stuff. I grew up in El Paso, Texas. El Paso is a really funny city because it's such a big city, but it has like a very small feel to it. The vibes, I guess, it has a very small town vibes. It is a really big city. It's a huge city. But somehow everybody knows everybody. Your aunt knows the, this guy that your friend knows and your friend knows this guy that somehow knows your brother and like your dad knows your mom's sister's friend. It's, a, it's just how El Paso is. I miss the food. The food is amazing. So if you all ever go to El Paso, I recommend uh, going to Carlos and Mickey's uh, during breakfast. They have the best breakfast buffet ever. I love them. So good. Yeah, so I graduated from college, moved down here, had zero money. Me and my husband struggled for a little bit. We had some family that helped us. And now we live in this house. Um, it's our first home. Right now, I am using Bare Minerals. I love this stuff, so. I think the biggest thing I was scared about starting YouTube was being judged, you know, judged on my looks, how I talked. I was very scared and uh, at some point I was like, you know what, starting a YouTube channel had not left my mind and if I could somehow bring a little bit of joy into someone else's life, uh, you know, with some entertainment, then, you know. Awesome. So now we're gonna move on to blush that I haven't thrown away and it's broken. So that's the start of my life. That was how I got onto YouTube. I I hope I can make it out of a career. If not, that's fine. I have my job that I do love very much and I work with some really nice people. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows. I use this, what is this, the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I have an older brother. He is very sweet and I love him to death. He's kind of like a park ranger. Uh, that's what I tell people. I don't really like to like explain his role, but yeah, he's like a little park ranger. He got me into country music. I love country music. I love all types of music, but my brother got me into country music because he would just blast it when I was younger, he would always just blast it in the morning. And I mean, it would be six o'clock in the morning, he'd just be playing country music. You know? Eventually you play it so many times, you're like, okay, this, you know, this music's not that bad. I need more blush. I think I need more blush. Like I said, my makeup is not ideal. And as much as I watch YouTube, you think I'd be better at makeup, but I'm not. So plans for this year, will be mostly me trying to do this YouTube. And we are going to Pittsburgh this December for my husband's 30th birthday. He's a Steelers fan, so he is really excited to go watch the Steelers play this December. Okay, I feel like my makeup came out I look tired. <laughs> it came out okay. I think, I think it's okay. I curled my hair and then it fell. So that was a waste of time. So I think I'm gonna stop the video here. 
I need perfume though. Let me, okay, I got my review. the video here um, I'm glad I was able to do this and share a little bit about myself with you all uh, I will get better I promise I will get so much better I'll keep working at it and yeah today I want to know about y'all uh, what is something that you're doing that is helping you step out of your comfort zone so let me know i like to know and i'm so thankful if you all watch the entire video and i will see you all very soon bye